All right, so now that we have gone into Perfect Mask and removed the dull and boring sky from this image and replaced it with the cloudy sky that I got from a photo frame, uh, it's time to start stylizing this photo and trying to get it to where we want it. Um, I, particularly in this image, want to give it sort of an old world feel to it, kind of end, end of the world type feeling. Um, so I'm going to go to Perfect uh perfect effects rather for this change. So what I did, um, I came over to the image that we had before. I have the clouds here, the image of the Colosseum here with the mask that we created from Perfect Mask. I then merged those two images um, together. So now we have the Colosseum and the sky. So now with that selected, I'm gonna go over to perfect effects. And Perfect Effects will launch pretty quickly, just like the rest of the programs in the uh, photo suite. And I want to find something um, that will darken the sky a little bit and give it sort of an ominous feel to it. So I think um, I'll go maybe with something in the black and white category where I can darken it and then pull it back a little bit to bring in some of the color. But there's also you know plenty of others. And this is uh, this is what's so great about Perfect Effects. So you. You have your image right here, and I can go through, and I have previews now of all of um, the different filters or presets that you can add on, and I have a preview of my own image now, instead of a stock image that um, is just thrown in there like it was before, and you kind of had to just guess what it would look like on your image. So now I can just see right down here what my image will look like, and if I want to test out one of the filters on my image, I can just click it and it will load up and show me the larger preview of what my image uh, is going to look like. So I have uh, this fade to black and white filter that I actually really like and I've used it on a couple of other images as well. And in every case so far it's taken the image past where I want it to go. And really I like that. You know some people might complain about that but I would prefer to go past where I want to go instead of not quite where I want to go because if I go past I can always just bring the opacity back and adjust the image to taste. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to go over to the strength slider right here and start bringing this back just until I get the image where I want it with the sky. And I'm thinking uh, 67 looks good. It might still be a little bit strong. I'm going to pull it back to around 50 something. Let's do 53. Try that. <clears throat> All right. And maybe a little bit stronger there. 58 is probably going to be just right. Great. That looks good. And now that I'm done with that, I can just hit apply. And that's going to take my image back into perfect layers. So now I'm going to do something that a lot of people might not know is available because it's not in the menu options over here on the right. What I'm going to do is come down here to my original mask that I created in Mask Pro. So I'm going to highlight that and with that selected, I'll come over here to Masking and select Copy Mask. And then I'm going to come up to the top layer, the one that I just edited out of Perfect Effects. I'll make sure that these other layers are turned on beneath it, just in case. So with the top layer selected, go back to masking and select paste mask. And now what I've done is I've used the mask that we created before, applied it to this image, which now means that the image from perfect effects is only affecting the sky. And I have the Colosseum, just like it was in my original image. And this is really great because I can now add perfect effects just to portions of the image that I want to use, uh, where I couldn't do that before if I hadn't have created this mask for the Colosseum. So now I can go back into perfect effects and find some sort of filter that I want to use on the Colosseum. And I have no idea what I want to do with the Colosseum. So what we need to do is create a, uh, a layer here that we can take back into perfect effects and basically do the same thing 
uh, that we did before. So what I'll do is I'm going to copy this layer here so I still have it. And then I'm going to select this top one as well as this bottom one. And I'm going to merge those two together. All right, so now we have a merged version of what we just did with the background adjusted, but the Colosseum uh, still remaining. So now I'm going to hop back over to Perfect Effects. And now we need to figure out what to do with this Colosseum. And again, I have no idea, so we're going to kind of try to figure this out together. So you have the black and white panels down here. Um, I think I'm going to go for something color with this, but I want it to, to maybe look a little grungy, but not, not too much. I don't want to take it too far here. One of, the, uh, one of the, my favorite collection of uh, filters is in the movie looks category. And this is where on one, uh, apparently they are big movie fans over there, just as, as I am. And they've gone through and created a collection of filters that mimic the look of famous movies. So you have all kinds of stuff in here. You've got Omaha Beach that, that kind of uh, mimics a Saving Private Ryan type look. You've got Return of the King. Um, you've got all kinds of filters in here that you can go through. Dirty Money, Blue Dawn, Arkham. Arkham might be kind of cool because it's going to give sort of a um, maybe a Dark Knight feel to it. We'll see. And this is what it's done, so I think that's a little too far, just like before. So I'm going to bring it back here, and you can kind of just play with these, see how it looks, and get it to where you want it. I want it to be a little darker than it was before, and have a little bit of a grungy look, just to make it look a little darker than the stock image. Um, I think we're actually going to go, you know, just go with that. I like the way it's looking, so I'll hit apply. And here we are back in Perfect Layers again. And you can see that the Arkham filter also darkened the sky more than it was before. If I turn this bottom layer on and then turn this top one off, you can see this is where I got the sky before, right where I wanted it, and this is where it is now. Some people might say, hey, you know, that looks fine, just leave it there. Um, but I do want to show you that you can use this mask again if you'd like. So I'm going to come down to the mask that I originally used, go back to masking, copy mask, and paste mask. <clears throat> and this is doing the same thing as I did before, where it shows us the sky from the perfect effects filter, but leaves the Colosseum where it was. <clears throat> and we want to do the opposite now. So I'll just go down here and invert the mask. So now we have the Arkham effect on the Colosseum and the fade to black and white effect on the sky. And this is pretty much where I want to take this image. So from here, I'm done. And I uh, hope you've kind of learned some tips and tricks here that you can use using some of these plugins um, in conjunction with each other from uh, On One's Perfect Photo Suite. And uh, thanks for watching.